so so this is a splash screen right so i'm going to add a background image to it so let's come down so this is i'm going to add this background png here so you can use any image of your choice or if you still want to use this i'm going to put a link in the description for you to download it if you want to use the same image i'm using so so here let's define so two things you have two windows so these are main window and these are splash window so anything here will be on the splash window so we'll say background image let's define background image So let's say photo image. So far. So inside my images folder, we are going to use background.png, which is the file I just showed you a while ago. So the background.png, that's what you are using in the background. So let's say bg image so this should be label so people enter. so we are putting it on the splash so we are using the splash so let's come down right here so we say bg image dot pack okay i think we need to put the image inside so right in the next line let's say image is equal to the background image so dot pack we need to bring some this all right so let's let's launch this so you can see the background image is there so it goes and it's this comes so another thing you want to do is you want to remove the title bar you want to remove this title bar on the splash screen we don't need it so to do that all you have to do is you say splash dot over redirected so all one word so this is it over redirected then so all one word so if we say true so we launch it again you can see the title bar is gone there's no title bar right there so now the next thing we are going to do is i'm going to put this gift file here so inside my images folder i have this give file okay i think my pc is running slow right anyway so pardon me for that so i'm going to use this give file on it so so let's get back into our code so in one of our previous video we we learned how to add give files to python technica so I don't want to waste much time in going all over that again so i'm just going to copy the code so if you still want to see so this is what we did in our previous video so we learn how to create this gif file so if you if you are new to this channel i'm going to put the link to it as well so you can check it out so i'm just going to copy the code i don't want to create everything from scratch again so i'm going to open it with my notepad so here okay i'm going to copy from here so okay so let's close this and come back here So right under this
so let's paste this trial okay so let's let's put it under the splash so that you don't be confused because it's going to be on the splash screen so let's put it all here then the main window will be added down so we are going to do some we're going to edit some few steps so i'm going to put the link in the description for this source code as well so you can get it maybe in case if not follow that video you can get this as well or or you can just pause the video and just write it as i paste it so this is our gif so our gif is inside our image so i'm going to change this so images i think it's inside images let's check okay our gif is inside our images folder and the name of our gif is uh load.gif so load.gif so we are going to maintain all this so right here we are we are not using roots we are using splash so that's the name of our window so splash we change this to splash as well so i think that's it okay let's come down here on the on top of this main loop and let's say animation count so i'm going to call this this what to define we are going to call it here so let's say animation count animation with an argument count so i'm going to call that there then maybe we we'll like to change the position for it so so this is the label so this is the label that give file is going to be on it so it's going to be x is going to be on 200 and our y is also going to be 220 so our width is going to be 100 then with the height 100 so you can pause the video and copy this so this way it started from so we define our gif and wherever your gif is located you just have to use that path and then open image so like i said i've done video on this i don't want to go through all that so right here so this is it so it ended here so if you pause the video up to here you can just write it as it is so right here then you can see this where our main window is then you come and call your animation count here so that's all so we launch it now you can see our animation not an i keep saying animation so gif our gif file so we launch this again and see the gif file on our window nicely there so one more thing let's put some label so let's come down here now let's come to the top so right under the redirected so let's see label to label so we are going to create the please wait label that you saw on the previous video we launched so we are putting it on our splash screen so the test 
So we'll say please wait. So space so comma. So at the time I want to give it a font. So let's open up parentheses. So we are giving it a we are using one of the default fonts that comes with Python. So that's the gothic one. So you can use any font you like. So we say bold. Then we'll give it a size of 15. So 15 times minus one. So that's 15 then star the minus one. Okay, so let's put some command there. So on the next line, I want to give it a background. So I like to match with our background color. So give it one F so say four then one a nine all right so that's it so give it a foreground color so that's the color of the test so white one two three four five six so that's six of this f will give you the white color we want we can just write white in words if you want so now let's place it to so we'll say label dot place so we are giving it x placement of 180 let's give it 200 then y placement of 180 so let's launch it now so you can see our please wait test there so it goes then our main window pops up so this is basically it so your splash screen goes then this pops up so you can do anything with it you can add more test design heading like whatever you want to add on the splash screen your logo or whatever then this is going to be your main window that pops up you can also maybe you don't necessarily have to create the main window here you can also create it another file and call it inside here you don't have to create the main window on the same screen if you know how to do that you can use the init all those we've done that our videos on how to like create multiple pages and all that that so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe for more videos so see you in the next video thank you